So you want to hunt yourself a deer this season in 2024. So do I, man. I got my whole setup here. I got my bow, my box of supplies, my tree standing equipment, which I plan to spend hours, days, weeks in, in order to get me the biggest buck ever. I've been practicing my deer sounds to attract them. I even have my- I would really prefer if you would be quiet. Look, all of that is important. They will help you in catching a deer, but they are better and maybe even faster ways to start. Let's go back and figure out the basics together. To start, deer are animals. Yeah, I know that's a um, no-duh situation, but yeah, they are. But just like us, they have their own behaviors that can be broken down into a pattern of sorts. Once you figure them out, you can dramatically improve your odds of nabbing one of nature's treasures. First thing off the bat, you need to figure out just where exactly the bucks are going to be in your area. This is, this takes way more than just looking from the left to the right using binoculars, just trying to sc sc scan it like that. That's We actually got to do research with it. If it's early in the year, let's say September through mid-October, most hunting locations should be set to take care of advantage between buck bedding areas and the spaces where they get their food or water sources. As we shift into late October and November, you'll want to focus on rut-related movements, which will still center around bedding and feeding patterns, but will be more focused on where the does are in relationship to the bucks. Find the does and you'll find where the bucks want to be at. you also want to consider any travel corridor or funnel in between these doe zones. Finally, in December and beyond, you're going to want to refocus on that simple bedding to feeding movement. In your area, you know some of this can be changed a bit, but it's important to know. You also want to keep in mind that if hunters are abusing a certain spot, you might want to get backseat from that. I'll elaborate more about that in the future. Since you're the general location where the bucks will more than likely be at, it's time to explore said locations. Some hunters may already have knowledge of this information, making your chances that much harder to catch a buck. However, you can alleviate this though. Using a map of the area, if possible, you can see the surrounding area and more guesstimate on where the other hunters might be at. Way less hunters are likely to hunt at spots with less tree covers or areas that have plenty of water surrounding it. Now you could try to hunt there yourself, but this is a gamble because this does mean you do need to be on your A game when hunting with less tree cover. And if you bring back a potential buck, it's going to be way harder since you to swim or maybe go over other hard to reach places that you normally wouldn't have to if you chose an easier spot. However, you're still increasing your chances of getting a buck in general, so it kind of evens out if you really think about it. <laughs> we can just consider this one a double-edged sword of sorts. So I mentioned this earlier on, in the video, but there's definitely a limit on how much you should be abusing these extremely great spots. Now, don't get me wrong, you you definitely deserve it. You found the spot, you did the research and everything, but if you do want to keep that spot productive, it might not be wise to do like all your hunting there in that season. Maybe like once, twice, that, that'd probably be fine, but over abusing the spot, it's like five to six times in the season, you're just gonna ruin it for yourself and if anyone else finds a spot, you're gonna ruin it for them. I'm also pro gatekeeping too. I know that's, I know it's pretty funny, but I think most people are for gatekeeping for like find like their best um best spots for hunting. So like if you have if you find like your dream buck and everything like that, maybe you should also keep that on the download too. Like you should probably only tell one person about where you got that buck from so they can help you like get it out like get it out and back into the truck but uh yeah just just try to gatekeep a little bit too i know that's like that's like a little bit mean but i mean you did earn the spot you did the research i think everyone else should do the research too i mean i, I think that's just fair <laughs> basically the moral of the story is when you're scouting for deer you're gonna find spots that scream hot spot and maybe it is but basically the only way to try this out, you know, to get it done, is just walk out there and just test it out. Just do the, um, do the work. That's all you gotta do. That's pretty much the end of that. That's the end of the video. I appreciate you for listening and have a great rest of your day.